But what we find out is when somebody signs up for those discounts or for those coupons or whatever it might be, that the response rate is literally only about 10%. Hi, I'm Mike Mancini with ppcvideotraining.com. Today we are talking about the difference between Facebook ads and Google ads, or what some people used to call Google AdWords, which as most of us know, some of you might not, Google AdWords became Google ads. Now, a lot of people ask me this because obviously we specialize in Google ads. Um, you know, what are the differences? What are the best ones to, best approaches to take? Should I put my business on Facebook? Should I put it on Google Ads? I have people telling me all of these different things and uh, I'm not sure which way to go. The one thing that I have to tell you about is, and I'm gonna give you some examples here, is intent. And I know you've probably heard people say that before, but maybe they haven't explained it or shown you some examples. And what I mean by that is, if you have intent on looking for a product or looking for a service, where do you typically go? Now, some people will say, I go to Facebook because I go ask my friends. That's fine. But if you want a quick answer, typically, the well, the majority of people and the numbers show it based on what Google makes, they will say, we go to Google. Um, and the example I always like to give is a plumber. If you had a pipe break in your house, I think the last thing you probably would want to do is go to Facebook and say, hey, I've got water rushing anywhere. Anybody have a good referral? Um, that Obviously, that would, that would probably not be the greatest uh, move. In fact, chances are you've got your cell phone, you're doing a mobile search, and you go right to Google and you type in emergency plumber or whatever it might be. That is intent. That is somebody that has a huge pain point or a pain problem and they need it solved now. Another great example of that is the pest control industry. We work with a lot of pest control companies and it's it's an awesome experience for us because and our clients obviously because we get them business, but it's so easy for us because the pain point is so high for somebody who's looking for pest control. It's typically, and obviously not being sexist or anything here, but their main clients are women who are the ones that call them. I think you said something like 80 to 85% of the calls they get are from women, homeowners, obviously, and they have a problem. They saw a mouse, they have ants in their kitchen, they have a snake underneath their porch, whatever it might be. There's a million things, but those are things that people are like, I have a mouse that just ran through my house, gross, I want it out now, and they call. But they don't go to Facebook typically, they go to Google and look under pest control or mouse removal or whatever it might be. So let's take a look at some examples and I'll give you another idea kind of what I'm talking about and uh, show you a little bit more about the differences that you'll see between Facebook marketing as well as Google ads. Okay, so here we are on my Facebook page and this was one that came up literally today. Auto brush, the toothbrushing routine has been revolutionized with auto brush. So it's a well-produced video. It's this device that you stick in your mouth and I guess it brushes your teeth for you, whatever it might be, cool. All right, I have absolutely no idea why they're showing this ad to me. Um, the one thing about Facebook is the, the targeting that you can do for Facebook is so insane. Uh, you you can literally target um, a mother of a single mother of two who is sitting on her couch and loves ice cream and the Minnesota Vikings. You can really target that well. Uh, the problem is is that sometimes people don't realize that and they just target everybody. Um, you know the only way if this is a targeted ad, the only way I can see that they targeted me personally could have been. Uh, maybe because, uh, you know, demographically we might be in a certain income bracket. This is not something that you're going to advertise to anybody, you know, in the, un under the poverty line. They just don't have a lot of expendable income. Um, another way might be is I was a hockey player. Maybe they are searching people who played hockey because they have a lot of fake teeth that need to, you know, those have to be cleaned really, really well to stay stay pearly white. I don't know. The, those are just two I, I could just come up with and kind of pull out my butt. So 
the you know but that is one of those things where I there's no intent I would never ever ever look for this product because I just I have no interest in it um, this isn't based on my search history this ad is not because I've never looked at it another way that this ad could be being used is it could have been a retargeting ad and maybe I just don't remember it maybe I clicked on an ad before and now they're showing this to me again because or maybe it's a different ad but they could be showing it to me again because maybe I showed interest in it before. I don't think I did, uh, but maybe that could be another way that they're targeting me. So let me give you another idea or another example of what we're talking about. Here we go, we go goat, no more shifty slippery rugs. This is one that I have absolute, I'm 1000% uh, positive. I have never, ever, ever clicked on an ad like this. Uh, just because I don't have any rugs in my house that I slip on and I, I don't know why they're targeting me. They could be targeting me because I'm a homeowner. Once again, there is no intent. They're putting this in front of me, hoping that I see it. Okay. Let me show you one more. Doodly. Okay. This is now this is being targeted to me. So for a short time, we're offering lifetime access to a doodly for a one time fee creative doodle videos so these are those videos that when you go to a website and it shows people drawing you know kind of walking you through the process while it looks like they're drawing it uh they're pretty cool but i guarantee you they're targeting me because i'm in marketing i my search history has a lot to do with marketing um i've got you know marketing background i mean i, I talk about marketing on my pages they're targeting me directly okay but still i had no intent now, granted, with that said, this still might grab me. I might take a look at it, uh, but I had no intent. I did not go out searching for this product. So once again, Facebook advertising, they're kind of hoping that I'm going to trip over it. But one thing that Facebook advertising, they're very good for a lot of different things, but one thing they're really good at is called cross-platform retargeting. So you can basically target to people on Facebook those people who have already looked at your website. So maybe you have a product or service uh, that somebody has gone to your website, they're checking you out, but maybe they haven't purchased. You can target, retarget them on the Facebook platform. That is awesome. That is something that we do a lot of, okay? Uh, but it's, it's also, so when somebody scrolls down their feed, they're not tripping over our ads. They're looking going, oh, oh, I actually know who that is. So you're creating brand recognition, you're giving them a second opportunity to take a look at you, so on and so forth. All right, see how that works? So let's go over to Google. All right, so here we are on Google and I typed in toothbrush solution because I wanted to find one of those toothbrush um, from Auto Brush, I think it was. And I go down here and let's see, Wiki, Colgate, Colgate. There's a couple, of, there's really no ads up at the top, except actually these are sponsored ads. So let's open these up. Uh, here we are, AutoBrush, $69.99. That's the same product. But you see when you type in toothbrush solution, that's all you're getting. Somebody is very intent and very targeted about what they're looking for. The same thing with Plumber. If I go to Google, I have intent. I need a plumber and I need a plumber probably pretty soon. I am going to find somebody that is a plumber near me, whatever it might be, I need somebody now. So I go to plumber, there's a bunch of ads here. There's some sponsored ad, local ads up here. Um, you get some Google Plus pages here. You get the idea. It's all about intent. Clients talk to me every day about what is the best place to put their ads. For local businesses, I can't tell you how many times we have run Facebook ads and they're nowhere near as profitable. I'm not saying that it's it's not a good platform. We, we use Facebook ads all the time. What I am saying is the intent is not always there. So we are running specials, we are running discounts. We've done a number of those things on Facebook. But what we find out is when somebody signs up for those discounts or for those uh, you know, coupons or whatever it might be, that the response rate is literally only about 10%. Meaning that if 10 people signed up for a discounted coupon, our clients might only get a hold of one of them. Because people are scrolling through Facebook and they're like, oh, look, a deal. And there are so many people on there that just will fill it out just to get the deal, whether they have any intent on using it or not.
So with local service businesses, we have found that Google ads work much, much better and the return on investment is much higher. The one area that we found where there is definitely places to grow with Facebook ads is places like gyms, um, health centers, those types of things. And the reason being is you can target so well and you could target down so uh, so deep to those people using Facebook's uh, using all their st uh, statistics that you can really put the right ad in front of somebody who really has a high interest in physical fitness or CrossFit or whatever it might be. Now, I'm not saying that uh, that Facebook ads don't work in other industries. Sure, they do. They they work really, really well. But when we're talking about things like local service businesses, we have found the best return on investment to definitely be on Google Ads just because of intent. Somebody needs their walls painted, they don't go to Facebook, they go to Google. Somebody needs a, uh, somebody has, um, their furnace goes out in the middle of winter, especially where we live in Minnesota, that's a huge deal. They don't go to Facebook, they go to Google. So hopefully that helps you understand the difference between Facebook and Google Ads. All right, so to continue the conversation, take a look at the video right next to me titled, How Much Do Google Ads Cost and Seven Ways to Lower It? So if this helped you out, do me a quick favor and just hit the like button below and subscribe to us for more great content like this.